Hi, I'm Becca from Goldilocks Marketing and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to edit your website using WordPress. This tutorial is aimed at complete beginners and it assumes that you already have a username and password to be able to log into your WordPress website. For this tutorial I've created a demo website using the OpenStrap theme. It's readily available to download for free from the WordPress website. Firstly going to look at how to edit an existing page using WordPress. The first thing that we need to do is log in to WordPress. This is the dashboard, this is what you'll first come across when you enter WordPress and you'll see the navigation options down the left hand side. The main one that we're going to want to look at is this pages one. We click on the one that we want to edit and it will come up with the text editor. Just add some text. And then I simply click update on the right hand side and here we go, we've got the update message there, page updated. I'll go back to the live website now and there we go, there's my new sentence. Simple as that. Now we know how to edit a page, let's look at how to add a new page. Adding a new page in WordPress is really straightforward. From the dashboard, just go to pages, add new. Give the page a name, in this case we're going to call it services, and then put some text in here. If you're taking text from somewhere such as Word, click this button first. It just strips off any extra code that Word may have added into it. Over on the right hand side here, we're going to select full width template for this one. And we're going to give it an image. Check that the title and alt text are okay, and then set the featured image. Up here it now says page published and we can just check it by previewing the changes there and there we go. However you'll see it's not yet been added to the menu, we need to go back into WordPress and do that. So if you go into appearance menus, in this case we've only got the one menu so you'll just see main menu here and you'll recognise these four pages. Our new page is now up here in most recent services and then just click add to menu. And now you can move it round to whereabouts you want it to feature on the menu, here just before the contact page. Then simply save the menu. And there we go, services now appears. I now want to create some sub pages under the services. So if I go back into the live site, what I want to happen is when I hover over services, I want some sub pages with a list of my services to show up below. As before, we'll add a new page, give it a title, and add some text. Change the template. So, you'll see under page attributes, you can select a parent. In this case, we want services. And remember to publish the page, now I'm going to add a new page. Call that service2. Add some more text in. Change the template to full width template and again click on the parent drop down and select services. So as before we go to appearance then we go to menus. In most recent you'll now see service 2, service 1 both there. And then just drag them up to where you want them to go. And in this case we want it to be a drop down, a sub item of services. And then again we just click save. And back to the live site, refresh the page, and now you'll see service one drop down and service two. Now you know how to edit and add new pages to WordPress, let's have a look at posts. On our demo site, we've got a news page, and on this page, you'll see some blog posts. I'm now going to show you how to add a new blog post. This time, instead of pages, we're going to go into posts. Just like with pages, add a new post, give it a title, and give it some text. Just like with pages, we can set a featured image. And because it's a blog post, we want to add some tags to help search engines and customers find this blog. Then we click add, and now publish. Now if I go back to the live site, refresh the news page, You'll see, there's my new post at the top. 
Now let's look at adding media in WordPress. Adding an image is really straightforward in WordPress. Normally you can just click on set featured image if you want the image to appear at the top of the page. However, sometimes you might like to embed it within the text. So just click where you want it to go and then click this button here, add media. You've then either got the choice to upload a new file from your computer or if you've already got one in the media library that you want to use, then just click on that. Make sure that your title and alt text are set accordingly and then just make sure that the display options are correct. In my case, left, I do want it left aligned. I don't need a link to the image in this case, so I'll click none. And the size is fine, that's in pixels. And then click on insert into page and update. And then just go back to the live page to check that it's worked as you expected, which it has. And finally, let's look at how to add hyperlinks. Simply highlight the text that you want to make into the link and then click on this chain. We want to link it in this case to our contact page and then just click add link, update the page and then when we check the live site, more info and there it is. You can add an external link to another website in the same way. This time, because it's an external link, we want to click on this one, open it in a new window. Click update again. Refresh the page. And here's our link in a new tab. So there you have it, a seven minute guide to using WordPress to edit your website. I hope you found today's tutorial useful. If you have any questions, then please do get in touch via our website, goldilocksmarketing.co.uk.